welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I am preparing for the lifeguard swim test that I'm about to take in a couple of weeks for the Disney College program and I think for every lifeguard position at Disney you have to take a swim test. This swim test consists of swimming 200 yards, treading water for two minutes without your hands, and retrieving a 10 pound brick from the deep end of the pool which is 10 feet. Now I've seen a couple of variations of this so I'm not quite sure what I'll be taking. I've never been a lifeguard, I've never been on a swim team, I've never done anything like this so I'm hoping I'm going to be put into the shallow lifeguard group of people. The shallow lifeguards and the deep lifeguards are the two types that you could be placed in. They're pretty self-explanatory. Shallow lifeguards mean Okay, great. Shallow lifeguards are in the shallow end of the pool, which is most resorts, and then deep lifeguards are at both of the water parks and um, some resorts. I know Yacht and Beach Club have a uh, deep pool. Future slash present day Kimmy here. So I'm here to clear up some confusion. If your location is Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach, or Yacht and Beach Club, you will be deep water. If you are any other resort, you will be shallow water. Hey. So I've seen, I've seen a picture of the two types of swim tests for deep and shallow water lifeguards. So I'm going to prepare for the deep water just in case. But the shallow water is swimming 50 yards, treading water for two minutes, and retrieving a 10 pound brick from shallow end, which is five feet. So I would like to take that one, but um, I'll see what I can get. Oh, hey, son. I ended up taking the shallow water test, which was swimming 50 yards, and then I had to grab a 10 pound brick from five feet, which was basically going underwater, squatting down, picking it up, and lifting it over your head. I did not have to tread any water. The deep water lifeguards had to swim 200 yards, which was eight laps in the Mickey's Retreat Pool. They had to tread water for two minutes with their hands just out of the water, didn't have to be super high up. And then they had to get a 10 pound brick from the deep end, which was 10 feet. So that is everything. Also to note, I did the swim test in May of 2018. So this information is a year and a half old. It could have changed, I don't think it would. But the information they give you says that everybody's taking the deep water lifeguard test. So I would say prepare for that. You could always be placed somewhere else. Locations can change pretty, pretty easily in the beginning. And if you wanna try to get deep water certified, you can ask. They might still place you in a location that only requires shallow, but you could always ask to see if you want to get deep water trained. Once I found out I was going to be a lifeguard, I wanted to start preparing right away or at least see where I was at. So I have a pool at school. I'm at school right now. I um, measured the pool because I don't know how long it is. I used my flip flop. Oh, that's dirty. I use about 32. So I just measured my feet down, did some math. I figured out 200 yards would be nine touches, nine lengths. So um, four and a half laps. I can do 200 yards and I can tread water for two minutes without my hands pretty easily. This pool is only six feet so I haven't practiced getting anything from 10 feet. Still hoping I only have to retrieve something from five feet. Also I don't have a 10 pound brick. I could use a 10 pound weight from our weight room but I don't think they'd like that. <laughs> so that's kind of the rundown. I've been doing this sometimes a couple times a week, sometimes once a week, sometimes not once a week. I just, um, whenever I could fit it in, really, I've been doing it. But right now, I'm going to, oh, also for just swimming the 200 yards, there's no time limit, so you can go as slow as you want, which is nice. And there's, um, you can only do freestyle or breaststroke. And what, I, what I've been doing is switching off, because obviously freestyle, you go faster, but it's more tiring. And breaststroke, you go way slower, and it's less tiring. So I've been switching off, but if I only have to do 50, I think I can just do um, freestyle all the way. So yeah, let's, um, is there anything else I need to tell you? Oh, okay, so like what <clears throat> what I usually do when I get here, well sometimes I'll jump 
feet first and from the deep end and try and touch like the bottom and grab something so I can um, practice jumping in feet first because to retrieve the 10 pound brick it has to be feet first there's wind I'm sorry and then start from the shallow end and do as many laps as I can and I think one of the things that I've learned from doing this is if there's other people around right now there's no one here if there's other people around I'll get nervous and I'll start going faster and I can't do that Ooh, there's a lizard oh also for the treading water without hands I've seen people just do like out of the water like this some like really high and then some on your head I haven't seen this I've just assumed like this like I don't know I don't know which one to practice so I'm gonna wrap this up yeah after I swim laps and then tread water I'll usually do that twice let's jump right in let's uh, let's do water pun. Let's dive. Let's dive right in. Okay, I'm done. Okay, see you in a bit. Hey right, y'all, let's jump in. I'm at six feet. Boop boop. Six feet. Ready? One, two, three. Should I try that jump again? That was pretty. Not the prettiest thing. I don't. Maybe I won't keep that in. Oh, here's the rock that I've been practicing to pick up. All right, maybe I should put you down and um, I'll practice getting the rock. This is what I've been using to, um... oh my God, that scared me. This is what I've been using to retrieve instead of a 10 pound brick. It's nowhere near 10 pounds, but let's try. Got it. So I'm gonna try that one more time. And I know y'all are like, girl, that's nowhere near 10 pounds. You're not really preparing for anything. But I think it's the like actually diving and going underwater that I'm actually going to be um, not the best at. So I'm trying to practice that. Okay, that one's done. Let's um, do some laps. Okay, hopefully this is a good angle. All right, time to swim. touches done um okay cool so retrieving something from six feet done swimming 200 yards done still trying to catch my breath don't drag me if you think my swimming technique is wrong or i didn't put my face in the water all i know is i can get from point a to point b relatively safely and quickly so let's do this last thing which is going to be really riveting to watch treading water for two minutes without hands. Let's go. All done. If y'all want to work out, try swimming laps and treading water. As you saw, I like move around. I can't just stay in one spot. That's basically how I've been preparing for the Disney lifeguard swim test. Like I said before, sometimes I'll do two rounds of this. Today, I don't think I am. <laughs> I think I'm good. So that's where I'm going to leave you in the pool this is intimate <laughs> um yeah so i'm sure once i get there and I actually do this i'll have way more answers for you thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye you know like after the fact when you have something really good to say but you didn't say it in the moment but you wish you would have said it so you're gonna say it now see you guys next time just keep swimming no nope. i want to do like the just keep swimming thing <sighs> was this dumb i don't know okay See y'all later. Remember to just keep swimming. I did it.